Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. You guys, today we are talking about my favorite current fragrance at the moment. Okay, and let's just be clear, I have about seven of them. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But this is it here. I did a first impression, I did an unboxing, adding this new beauty to my collection and today I want to give you a full in-depth detailed review on how this fragrance is performing and just taking over my life okay I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures up close and personal and this is Terenza Terenzi Spirito Florentino I showed this to you in the last video you guys very heavy weighted cap here I did show you cap does come off it literally does weigh I promise you about three pounds bottle is absolutely gorgeous though good thing about it is if you want it to you can also include this cap here and that way you know you don't have to lug the big heavy cap around but this is really it here super cute or you can just keep the cap that you have on it you can also pick it up from here because it is weighted but it's supported I don't even know where to begin about this fragrance you guys I told you I got a sample of it from royalty scents smelt it like twice okay I sprayed it like twice smelt it like twice and I was like oh that's it that's full bottle worthy I need that in my collection I need that in my life a lot of times when I'm looking to add fragrances to my collection I like to add things that are different things that are unique things that you know just really get this type of reaction from me that way I know when I have those particular fragrances in my collection and I pick them up I really love them and I really enjoy them and of course I cannot wait to get back to come and share them with you so this is it here I am going to oh god yes I am going to spray it on I will not be spraying this on a card this is a pretty pretty penny it is I don't know why I gravitate towards these kind of fragrances I just do this is amazing it is so so good I have to tell you 2.5 seconds my first initial reaction when I first sprayed the fragrance okay I first sprayed it and I immediately thought about yes Baccarat Rouge 540 and I spoke to so many of you um, if you're not following me on Instagram hello follow me on Instagram we chatted about this fragrance over there took a picture of it and spoke to a few of you in my DMs and in the comments section below just saying that how it kind of reminded you as well of Baccarat Rouge 540 it does in the extract version the regular version I mean it does in the initial spray when you first spray it you don't get the medicinal you know part that you get sometime in Baccarat Rouge you do get something though. I read a lot of forums and blogs and different things like that and people were saying they were getting like a band-aid type of scent in the beginning. I don't get that. I don't know what it is, whether it's the saffron, whether it's the birch, whether it's the oak moss. I mean, I don't know, but it draws you in. And then as it, you hear goes the word I'm about to make up, okay, so get ready. As it meshes down and engulfs itself into the body, oh my gosh, it just becomes so so beautiful I mean to me and I did bring Baccarat Rouge here so that I could do like a little mini comparison I have been wearing them side by side and I also brought over the extract version because they do resemble one another but I'm going to try and break it down the best way possible how they differentiate in my opinion so going back to Terenzi this one is really good but it has something about it to me that I find it to be I want to say a tad bit more you know what I mean it has a little bit more of a growl it has a little bit more of a I don't want to say masculinity to it because it is very feminine at the same time but it's not as warm it's not as brown sugar it's not as candy cane cotton candy how I've heard some of uh, how I've heard people describe you know Baccarat Rouge and different um, facets occasions or what have you so it is different in that realm but it's just good I do know that this is a unisex fragrance this can be worn by a man it could be worn by a woman say it with me it could be worn by a human yes you guys it's a unisex fragrance I typically really like unisex fragrances to be honest with you man woman boy child rock with you like okay rock and wear what makes you happy anyhow back to my new friend at hand absolutely love it I'm gonna give you a little bit of uh, the notes let's break the notes down because I know some of you really love notes so let's break some of those down I did myself a card here so I didn't miss anything in our top notes we have Lily Jasmine saffron and orange okay our middle notes we have ylang ylang we have some magnolia lily of the valley in our base notes we have woods sandalwood 
birch musk and leather accords it's a very floral woody sexy sensual get your entire life past Stella got her groove back okay you guys we have left Stella got her groove back we are getting our entire life back that's the vibes that this fragrance just gives me it's really really good it just as it is, it, I'm gonna say it. Go ahead and say it, girl. The magic does happen in the dry down. It is good, good. It is sexy. Where would you wear this to, Sheree? I would wear it anywhere. Like, I went to Paris in 2017, you guys, 2.5. Okay, one more. I went to Paris in 2017 and I was, you know, being dropped off at the Plaza Athene um, by a car service. And I would have loved to have had a fragrance on like this. I can't even remember what I wore off the plane. What did I wear? I don't know, it was probably something by Tom Ford. I can't recall. Anyhow, I would have loved to have something like this on. You know, arrive into the hotels, them opening the doors, and me just walking in and just leaving a scent trail for days. Let's talk about the central. The central is there. It is prevalent. It fills the room. Yes, it does. The sillage is there. It projects. Four to five feet, I would say. It fills the room. I only sprayed it in my house. I did wear it out to the backyard, so I wore it out. There, the sillage is there. Uh, as far as longevity goes, you guys, it's a beast. It's longevity. I got at least eight to nine, ten hours out of it. I sprayed it on after a shower. You know, I always do my wear test. After a shower, on fresh, clean, hydrated, moisturized skin that way the fragrance preserves itself I just typically layer it with like a lotion that doesn't really have a scent to it something like a shea butter something that's really gonna penetrate through the skin so I did layer it with that it's it's just good it's really good um, I think that you can wear it anywhere I think as far as like I think a date would be good I think if you were in that life of clubbing it's definitely gonna be good it's gonna capture somebody's attention take somebody's attention somebody is gonna stop and they will say can I take you out tonight excuse me miss what okay I'm sorry I'm sorry I always tell you, I can only give to you what the fragrance gives to me. And that's what this fragrance is giving to me. It is really good. Now, if I were going to compare it to Baccarat Rouge, I would say that in my opinion, okay, and still, it's still new to me, so I can develop different things, and as I develop different feelings about it, you know I'll be telling you about it, because you know, once she finds something she likes, it's just like, that's all I talk about. So, and expect to see this fragrance again, again, and again. I think that Baccarat Rouge 540, I would find these two to be, I would find them to be a tad bit more sophisticated, maybe a little bit more refined, a little bit more upper scale, a little bit more classy. And I say that in, you know, the broadest way that I can say that in. I'm just saying, because this has something in it that when you spray it, it's like a, okay you know what i mean it's like one of those but it's really 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 good and i only talk about baccarat rouge because so many people that i've spoken with and my dms were just saying how much it did remind them of the fragrance and i totally agree with you but yet this is very different okay like i said i think that this performs really well on a guy i actually think it performs really good on my guy but it performs really good on me as well so it's really good i'm gonna leave some information in the description box i know some of you were telling me you couldn't find it you guys i just go to the website i typed in their website they have um discovery kits there they have samples that you can try there they have so many other ones like i said i'm new to the brand i don't know a whole whole lot about it all i know is that this is fire this is fire in a bottle to me this just has heat okay it just has heat fire in a bottle and it is good good it is a double 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 triple take it is it is that good so i will leave that information in the description box for you below but yes i definitely think it is worth the pretty penny that it is you'll find that information in the description box as well i did write myself some notes because i didn't want to leave anything as far as the rating goes right now i cannot just give it a 10 out of a 10 right off the bat you guys because i haven't had it long enough i want to be fair uh right now i'm giving it like a 9.5 though like seriously it's hitting it on all cylinders for me for what i look for in my fragrances i look for them to be hot i look for them to be bold i look for them to be sexy i look for them to hit hard and heavy i look for them to have a fire a roar a growl i look for them to do the most and this fragrance is covering all of those on all cylinders. What else? Do I find it mass appealing? Do you think that you would find it mass appealing? Uh, 
Probably, because it really is good, you know what I mean? It doesn't have anything that you would be like, oh my God, like turned off immediately from. Like I said, that one note, which I don't know what it is, whether it's the leather cords, I really don't think, I think the leather cord is blended really well, it's very creamy. Maybe it's the saffron, maybe it's the birch, maybe it's the oak moss, but there is one note in there, or maybe several notes, okay? She's no perfumist, I have no idea. But there is something in there that does smell a little bit like, ooh, okay, but then it goes away. It dries down, it engulfs into the body. Hello, there is that word again. Don't look for it in the dictionary. You will not find it because I made it up. Anyhow, it does do that into the body and then it does do this too. I went outside and so I had reached down for something and you know, picked it back up and then I got a whiff of it and it just came across and it was so beautiful. So it does give that, you know, where the siage is there and the projection is there and you walk back in or turn around and you get a whiff of it and you just go like, oh God, I smell so good. Let me keep going. So I told you about projection is there, siage is there. I overspray, but you can probably get away with anywhere from two to four sprays. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, she's probably gonna spray six to eight, even 10. Don't judge me, we don't do that here. You spray you. I sprayed me hashtag in the comment section right now if you are a heavy sprayer okay let's move on longevity I told you anywhere from eight to nine hours sprayed it on before I went to bed you guys got up the next morning immediately went in for the can I still smell it and it was there faintly however but it was there and I probably sprayed it on probably about 5 30 so to me that's a great longevity when it comes to performance on a fragrance let's talk about seasons what seasons what do you find this fragrance to be appropriate now you know what i always say you wear fragrance whenever you feel like it it could be a hot summer day if i feel like wearing oud oak moss birch i'm gonna pick it up and spray it i spray according to my mood not according to the seasons but i do know some people are really seasonal when it comes to their fragrances so i would say in my opinion it could probably be worn year round i don't see anything that you know you know um what have you about it that it couldn't be wore year round i would just say spray according to the season if it was summer i would definitely say spray a little bit lighter but when the fall and the winter comes she's going so hard with this fragrance i'm just letting you know now if you see me out and you're just like where is it? And my friend, somebody left in the comment section that they're uh, a child of a heavy sprayer, that their dad sprays so heavy, he wants the fragrance to get there three weeks before he does. I'm that kind of sprayer, okay? So if you don't see anybody, and you're just like, where's that scent coming from? Hello, it's Sheree, it's her, she's over there somewhere. Okay, what else? Occasions, you can wear it anywhere. I definitely think it's date night worthy. I definitely think that you can wear it like um, first date, ooh, maybe. If you wanna make a statement, you know she'd wear it. If you wanna Make a statement wear it on a first date wear it on a special occasion a fancy dinner uh, to a play a theater when everything opens back up you guys spray it and wear it okay you don't have to wait for a special occasion let me shed some light on this too another 2.5 how many is that now? Three? Are you counting? Another 2.5. I do not believe in waiting for a special occasion to carry my bags, to rock my shoes, to wear my clothes, to spray my fragrances. I feel that every single morning that God allows me to wake up, it is a special occasion and I will spray and celebrate just for being alive to see another day. Okay, girl, do not start preaching. Sorry guys, sorry. Versatility. I feel it's very versatile. I feel you can wear it, you know, anywhere. I think anybody can rock it. Do you feel it's blind by worthy? If you know you like a hard, heavy, potent, bold, you know, out there kind of fragrance and you enjoy the rush of blind buying, absolutely. If you know that you're like, no, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I prefer something a little bit more softer, a little bit more mild. I don't wanna be doing the most in your face this probably wouldn't be the fragrance for you. I would say start with the sample. That is it, you guys. That is my review. That is my detailed review. If you have any questions, I'm sure I'm going to be developing more opinions, more thoughts on this fragrance as I continue to play with it. If you have enjoyed this video, please take 2.5 seconds and hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the vibe, you want more content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed. Stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, on a real note, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.